Hey, it's Rick. Rick from CodeDetent.com. This one we're gonna be talking about having rich friends and what that even means. All right, let's do it. Now I'm working towards uh, to go grab a bite to eat. And my lunch is gonna roughly be around 12 to 16 dollars depending on what I decide to get. And um, you know, it's just lunch, it ain't nothing big. <laughs> but it got me thinking about this idea of of wealth and being rich and having rich friends and all of that fun jazz. You know, I need a way for me to be able to classify what rich is in order for us to be able to say, oh, this is a rich friend. I have a rich friend, right? This is somebody that's uh, fairly wealthy. I'm not going to talk about personality. I'm not going to talk about any of that. I'm just going to keep it simple. Cold, hard cash. Now, if you live in the U.S. like I do, more than likely, you know, $15, $16, it isn't a lot of money. But if you're outside the U.S. and like in a third world country, you usually live on a dollar a day type of deal so I need to go ahead and you know be able to justify that so for example you can say well if you're in the US you're you're rich because you're you're in a first world country you know you don't have third world problems you would be considered rich yeah I mean we could go that way or we, we can also go ahead and try to classify it in a different way which is what I'm going to try to do here um, in this video so instead of talking about specifically you know a dollar a day we're gonna go ahead and talk about uh, how much money you can actually go ahead and drop that day uh, the first time that I actually had a uh, quote-unquote rich friend I knew they were rich not necessarily just because of the money in their account but because everything else they did you know though the way they thought the friends they had the music they listened to the house they lived in the neighborhood they lived I mean all of those things go ahead and, and compound down to uh, saying you have a rich friend <laughs> So the, around the first time that I actually did have one, that was around the age of uh, 19, 20. That's when I actually met um, one of my first uh, rich friends. And I knew they were rich because at any given time, this is how I'm gonna classify being rich. At any given time, you can go ahead and write a $100,000 check. So if you can do that, okay, you know I'm not saying you gotta go liquidate stock or go do this or go do that or blah, blah, blah. Like just any given time, Monday through Sunday, whenever, whatever day it is, if you could just go ahead and write a check for $100,000 to anybody, I would consider you um, rich. Now you're gonna say, well, Rick, what if they have a trustee and you know, what if, they, what if that money got handed down to them? Or whatever other reason you wanna go ahead and say, my hand's getting tired. Um, you know, you could, do, you could say that, but I'm just gonna classify it as that just so we can actually constrain it to some level of of reality or else we're not even gonna be able to get there. So 100K, can you write a check for 100K? And if you can, you, I would go ahead and consider you a uh, quote unquote rich friend. I started paying a little bit more attention as far as what they actually do. You know, what what kind of business are they in? What kind of books are they reading? Uh, what kind of art do they look at? Uh, what kind of neighborhood do they live in? What kind of car do they drive? And what kind of things do they value? I'd have to say, it's different. It's different than, than everybody else because mostly, you know, 80% to 90% of people are living paycheck to paycheck. So they're literally two paychecks from being homeless. You did hear that correctly. Two paychecks from being homeless. If you realize this and you finally you have some friends around that can go, you know, a year or two years without working, it definitely changes your perspective and, and it raises the bar for what's actually possible. And I think that's one of the, let's go, let's go this way. I think that's one of the important concepts of having rich friends is that they go ahead and raise the bar for you. And if they raise the bar for you, you kind of have to pull your weight to come up to that level in order for you to be able to say, oh, yeah, this person is part of, you know, part of my community, part of what I want to help them to achieve, part of whatever it is that you want to do. Instead of thinking like, oh, how can I go ahead and earn another paycheck? It's like, oh, how can I get on the level? What do I have to do? What kind of books do I have to read? What kind of mentors do I have to get? What kind of conferences should I attend? You start thinking a little bit different. So I just wanted to leave you with that. 
if you never had a rich friend, I can be your rich friend. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't have 100k to, to write it down, so I'm not. I'm not quite there yet, guys. But hopefully soon, I'll be able to do that. But in the meantime, I'll try, try to find and see if you can find someone. So, you know, reach out to your network, reach out to those around you, and see if you can actually make that a reality. Because probably more than likely, you're probably two hops away from that person. Yeah, literally, you can. A friend of a friend probably has that kind of. Uh, uh, connections or wealth so I'm gonna go ahead and leave you guys with that so I want you to drop me drop me a comment below and in that comment I want you to say if you, how many rich friends you have so you have one type of one if you have zero type in zero if you have ten how much to drop a ten uh, drop it down below in the comments and I'll talk to you guys next time